hi people how you all doing welcome and welcome back to the channel it is sandra here and i am back again with another video that i'm hoping is gonna be nice is gonna be interesting <laughs> so this says charlie kirk wrecks deluded pro trans long head he <laughs> me why i mean he must have been really really deluded because i mean this title i don't know there's just like some type of like shade attached to it because why do we need to know that he's a long-haired hippie anyways first time obviously gonna be getting into this super um interested to get into the conversation and just be a part of it basically and i really do want and i would appreciate if you guys do see this video through me so please just stick around from the very start to the very end okay so let's put up the buckles and just get right into the video your buddy buddy with michael knowles recently he said the phrase quote uh we should eradicate transgenderism and that, that, that is correct yeah you got yeah, it right so i know you From agree public with him. life yeah I know you agree with him on some level. Um, how would you go about that? How do you eliminate transgenderism without yep. eliminating transgenders? Okay, okay, let's, I warned you about this. <laughs> I love the passion. Just let the process play out, okay? Jeez. Um, so, to specifically, he said transgenderism, right, which is an ideology. And he well, said it, it they're, should. They're intertwined, like Judaism and Jewish people. like. Well, hold on. he said from know. public life, okay? So, yeah, that's not the best example. It's just don't, don't use that one. Um, but, so, but let me kind of zero in on this. Yeah, I, I do agree with it 100%. The best way is that we should not be platforming or acting as if a mental delusion is normal, good for children, or something that is acceptable in decent society. So, in what way is it... Okay, so throughout history, we've had these uh, medical breakthroughs where we learn that things are just like how people are, you know. Who's to say that somebody is not born the wrong gender? Like, what is there? So you I'm do just it again, asking, we're going to have to kick you out. Please don't interrupt. How do Continue. you know that what's happening right now isn't like a medical breakthrough? How do you know it is a mental illness to be eradicated. Yeah, 5,000 years of recorded history and common sense that men can't But back birth. in history, were there not like skeletons being dug up with female artifacts around them? Were there not sculptures of two married women? I mean, it's been no. a thing forever. It's been, I well, mean, transgenderism, let's, let's anything play this LGBTQ. Out. So, so how do I know that biological reality is true? Chromosomes. I'm not arguing about biological well, reality. Yeah, my, my chromosomes instruct my opinion first and foremost. So XX, XY chromosomes, and I reject the term gender, actually. It's sex, and you, you have a sex at birth, and you cannot change that. So let me just kind of ask a question. Medical advancements, the medical community can be very wrong. We used to do lobotomies, and I'm glad we stopped doing that. So doctors have been wrong before, and in fact, doctors have been wrong about a lot of things over the last hundred years. And in fact, if all of a sudden the medical consensus from the AMA, which is headquartered right down the street, by the way, is that we have to have these g pediatric gender-affirming reassignment clinics that have breast reduction surgery or literally mastectomies for 12 or 13-year-olds to then assign them Lupron estrogen and testosterone treatment. For somebody that might just be going through puberty and having anxiousness and unease, I'm probably going to call that doctor a fraud, and any person with common sense should do that too. Okay, super quick. Last thing. So, my main question was sure. about the term eradicate transgenderism. Yeah, sure. so can I give you some examples? Yeah, uh, sure. we, sh we shouldn't teach it in our schools. We also shouldn't allow men to compete against women in NCAA sports. Okay. What about, what about the people who are transgender that have converted, are currently... How about this? So why Did you couldn't, forcefully detransition them? Yeah, how about, why, the why couldn't Thomas still compete against men despite his mental delusion? Why do we have to reaccommodate all female sports for a single individual that obviously has an advantage with bone density and testosterone production? Why is it now our problem? Why does society have to reorganize and reconfigure for one very loud, obviously disturbed person? 
Wouldn't it be more fair to say, okay, you have a problem, so keep competing in the category that you were born to. You can still wear whatever you want, I guess, and dress and do the treatments you want, but since you're such an excellent swimmer, go swim against boys. Oh, because he's a narcissist and he used to finish 200 against boys, and when he competes against girls, he wins the championship because he's a cheat. Because it's all about him, not about the competition or about fairness. Okay, I mean, that's all I was wondering. Thanks. Honestly, guys, like, honestly, honestly, people, if you go through, like, my previous videos, you guys are going to notice that I have been, like, doing quite a number of um, Charlie Kirk's videos, right? And I have to say that this is one of the videos that actually really stands out to me because... I like this is like like I really did appreciate the fact that a video like this was recorded that I actually got into this video because first off like okay first off the title is a little bit misleading and I will say like hostile you know towards this man because he isn't like he literally was me I do not understand it like I I've, I've tried but currently, gratefully, I am not in a country that encourages it. So I do not get, you know, I do not get it shoved at me or stuff like that. So I really do not understand. But then I'm curious, right? I get curious sometimes about like the whole dynamics and just have like some questions concerning it. And in as much as this young man didn't touch all the questions that I have, I wish I could, you know, ask Charlie um he did touch on a bit and i'm just so grateful because i want to know why right? like his questions like i mean obviously Ch what charlie said is is true that is what it is okay it, it's literally what it is right but then there just sounds when like you believe in something and then you're like oh can i just even look at like another perspective into things like try to like experience you know like perspective on like another perspective into like the same issue or the same topic right but um i feel like the take home from this video is we the or rather like the country right we shouldn't try to encourage it like okay if you feel or you believe that you just have a vibe of a certain gender that is not the original gender you were born with or you just if whatever it is you feel right fine it's okay but do not come imposing it on us like it's just like saying you have a favorite artist right it's just like saying oh my god i love this artist and this artist really works for me like uh this artist speaks to me and all of that and then you're trying to like make everyone else see what you see in that artist by force like i mean i feel like maybe my analogy maybe weren't but pardon me but basically that's just it like for me right i'm not against you know people who like i'm not against trans people i'm not against people who tend to want to identify as something other than what they were born with right i'm not against it right you can honestly be who you are because it's a liberal world to be honest it's a free world and i'm believing that transgenders are only adults right look like i am passionately against anybody who is below the age of 18 or even 20 that is a transgender because in my opinion that is abuse that is a child that has been deluded and just given so much freedom that they couldn't handle right so i'm also i'm also i'm also um expecting you to be an adult and you know obviously you're an adult so that is like your decision to make right i'm not against that but do not come for me or other people who don't choose to see you the way you choose to see yourself because the, what you are is literally what you are and what you see yourself as is literally your opinion is literally your views so do not try to like impose your views on me because this like it's 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 a really broad topic and i'm sorry if I offended anyone to be honest if I did say anything offensive not if I offended anyone I am sorry if I did say anything offensive I do not mean it in an offensive manner but then again we should all just try to let people have freedom of speech and freedom of, of expression right freedom of speech and freedom of expression is something that 
every individual is entitled to not certain individuals because it's seeming now like I was taught in school and even biologically and naturally that there are two genders, boys and girls. And then now you're trying to like stifle me and make me believe that you're what, like why? It's just a whole different school of thought. And yeah, people, yeah. But anyways, we did get into this. Like, as I already said, I am going to start this video because it really is of such great essence to me. Definitely, I did enjoy um, the conversation. I don't know why they titled it that way. It's a bit, like, mean because he didn't even... He, he didn't, he wasn't even, I don't even know if he's deluded, right? I don't even know if he's deluded. He literally just had a question. I don't know who's in charge of, like, the title of this video, but, um, trust me, I don't, this young man wasn't deluded, and he just had questions that I actually had, and if that makes him deluded, then I guess I'm also deluded, but yeah. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me. Obviously, as I already stated, if I did something offensive, not meaning it's in an offensive way, do... Um, take my apologies and I also want to know what y'all think about this. Do you even have another perspective that you could put me through that would make me see things in a different way? Because I'm very much open to understanding, right? Like, I'm not for it, right? I'm not pro transgender, but um, I'm very much open to understanding and just knowing like the whole idea and dynamics of it. And I really appreciate if you guys can share all of that down in the comment box, okay? But we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me. I want to know what you all think because I already said. Do all to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you know that you're not yet a part of this channel and you basically do enjoy stuff that goes on here, I'm really, really going to appreciate it. Okay. So with this being said, people, let us keep on staying safe and healthy. Up on to the very next one. Bye.